do to be comfortable. Because obviously, you know, the coverage can get clustered up in there, and there's, there might be linebackers you're throwing over and guys you're throwing in front of, and there's a lot of stuff going on. What, what, is it, what do you have to do as a quarterback to be comfortable making throws maybe in congested areas? I think one of the things uh, Coach Day when he came in talked about uh, one inch in the underneath the fender, so the linebacker talking about, so he says one inch is like their hands up, they're jumping, and the ball goes one inch over their hands, right? So with that, um, that takes a lot of practice. We've been practicing since we first got here, and uh, then just the timing of it. Like, you can't be late on those throws. you got to understand the spacing, the timing of the, those type of throws that you're talking about. And uh, you got to be confident and just rip the ball in there. You can't really baby it or lob it or finish. And then from there, they could retreat and get the ball down interceptions. And then even the coverage on top of that, so the safeties or corners are on top, they come down the ball too. So you got to be confident and rip it and one inch to the finish. And tell me if I'm wrong, it feels like you're making, you're throwing that better than you're going to throw. Is that true? Do you feel that? It's hard to say. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I'm just, I think with all throws, just being confident with it. You know what I'm saying? Not being, just babying or something. Throws, just confident with it, rip it. You know, when you have it, when you don't, you check it out. Right? JT, 